What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com. Back again with the NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, January 17th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comment section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at BetMGM. There's a link in the description. You can get up to $1,000 in first bet insurance and two free months of Stochastic Plus Platinum. There are no better deals out there, folks. I promise you that. Now, we're going to round out the bottom of my top 10 with Pascal Siakam, TJ Warren, Anthony Simons, Keldon Johnson, and Joe Harris on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, we're looking at Drew Holiday. He's point guard, shooting guard eligible, 7,900. Projected for 38 and a half. The goal is 43 and a half. He's going to be in the optimal lineup about 28% of the time. This has the opportunity to look even better. They're on a back-to-back. -back. I don't know the status of Giannis at this point. He has missed the previous three. Hell, I don't know the status of Drew Holiday on a back-to-back. -back. But for right now, I'm assuming Giannis is in, and I'm assuming Chris Middleton is out. But lots up in the air for Milwaukee right now. If it's Giannis in, Middleton out, 34 minutes for Holiday, 1.14 fantasy points per minute. It is a pace down spot against Toronto, but Milwaukee five and a half point favorites. 26% usage for Drew, 19 points, seven assists, five and a half boards, and basically two stocks. I, I just think he's underpriced so long as someone is out. Now, if Giannis, so long as Middleton is out. If Middleton comes back here, Drew's still a good play, but it's just a little bit worse. The usage comes down just a little bit more. If Giannis happens to still be out though, let it rip on Drew Holiday. He'll be the best play on today's slate. In at number four, we've got Trey Jones, point guard eligible, 6,800, projected for 32 and a half. The goal is 38, and he's in the optimal lineup 29% of the time. 30 minutes for Trey Jones. Uh, I've been talking about him a lot lately. He just feels ultra consistent. Now, the price is starting to rise, but he's a little over a fantasy point per minute. 22% usage with no Devin Vassell around. 15 and a half points, six assists, four and a half boards, a stock and a half. They're actually, like, not expected to get absolutely destroyed for the first time in a while six point dogs at home like that's gonna keep it close enough that you kind of feel good about getting to the starters it is a slight pace down spot against brooklyn which isn't the best but for right now you're not going to get a lot of games where the spurs are like less than 10 point dogs take advantage in those situations at number three, we go to Fred Van Vliet. This one scares the hell out of me. He played massive minutes yesterday, 40 in regulation. They're on a back-to-back -back now. He's 7,100, projected for 35. The goal's 39 and a half. Optimal lineup, 31% of the time. I gave him 36 minutes. He could sit today on the back-to-back, -back, and I would believe that, considering he was questionable up until very close to game time. If he's in... You have to assume at a minimum 36 minutes, at which point he's a fantasy point per minute guy here against Milwaukee. They're slight underdogs, but you want it to stay competitive. 20% usage, 15 points, five boards, six and a half assists, and two stocks. He's just wildly underpriced for this spot right now. I'm nervous about Toronto, given the fact that they went to OT yesterday and all the starters went back to playing insane minutes once again. Thanks, Nick Nurse, for that. But if you're assuming 36 minutes for Fred Van Vliet, which is a normal projection for him, you got to like him at 7,100. In at number two, we've got Nick Claxton. I think he looks incredible here. Center eligible, 7,200. Projected for 40. The goal is 40. And he's in the optimal lineup 32% of the time. I gave him 31 minutes. I think he's a 1.3 fantasy point per minute guy in this spot. It's a massive pace up matchup against San Antonio. He blocks everything nowadays. We're talking 16 points on 18% usage, 10 rebounds, so a double-double, two assists, and three and a half stocks, 0.8 steals, 2.8 blocks. This dude picks up those sorts of stats like crazy. And on FanDuel, where they're worth three points apiece, the outlier stock day is what pushes Nick Claxton to the top. But you're going to get right around a double-double to begin with. He looks incredible at 7,200, particularly for this matchup. I'm very happy to get to Nick Claxton, even on a day where the slate contains Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid. Now, before we get to the number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section what you like, what you dislike, and if you have any questions. And finally, 
I got to give that shout out to BetMGM. Two free months of Stochastic Plus Platinum and up to $1,000 in first bet insurance. My number one contender for today is Kyrie Irving. He's point guard, shooting guard eligible, 9,300, projected for 49. The goal is 50 and a half, and he's in the optimal lineup 34% of the time. 36 minutes here for Kyrie. We know, no KD, which means big time bump to all the rates and a matchup against the Spurs. So I've got Kyrie around 1.35 fantasy points per minute here. 34% usage and 31 and a half real points. Five and a half boards, five and a half assists, and almost two stocks, one and a half honestly. But you get the pace up spot against San Antonio. A great matchup altogether. What's not to like here for Kyrie? The price is still perfect. I expect that to actually come up a little bit in the near future. It's just too easy with no Kevin Durant, particularly on a four game slate. The floor feels really high for Kyrie in a matchup against the Spurs. And that's why he's my number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, January 17th. DraftKings version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.